Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show how to deploy a web application using the app service and Azure application gateway. So let's start. Multiple components and the features will be deployed in this lab as you can see on the slide. I'll start with the deployment of app service plan using which a web application will be created in app service. I'll use the framework as .NET and deploy a sample ASP.NET web application which will be created using Visual Studio. And once the web application is hosted on the app service, I'll create the Azure application gateway version 2 where the front-end IP configuration, listener, backend pool, backend setting and routing rule will be created. The backend pool will have an app service which will be created for ASP.NET and in the backend settings, I'll use the protocol HTTP. So that means the traffic from application gateway to app service will be unencrypted and use protocol HTTP. However, during the creation of the listener, I'll upload a certificate for the custom domain shalender.online and use the protocol HTTPS, which means the traffic from the user to the application gateway will be encrypted and will use port 443. And once application gateway is ready, there will be certain integration and configuration changes that have to be done so that app service can be integrated to Azure application gateway. However, you would be thinking that when we deploy virtual machine in the backend pool for the Azure application gateway, there are no certain changes has to be done. But because app service is a platform as a service, so there are some integration that has to be done on the virtual network level. So let's go to Azure portal and start with our deployment. Right now, there is no app service plan deployed. So let's create a new one and create a new resource group, RG backend. Let's name it as ASP dev 001. The operating system will be Windows and the region will be Australia East. There are multiple pricing plans which are available. Let's explore the pricing plans. So I'll select the standard S1. Let's go to tags. We are not creating any tag. So let's review and create and create. So app service plan is created now. Go to the resource. And you can see it's a S1 plan. Now let's go to app service and create a new web app. We'll use the same resource group as RG backend and name it as Shalender. And the URL will become shalender.azurewebsites.net. We'll use the code, select the runtime stack as version 4.8, ASP.NET version 4.8. Operating system will be Windows and Australia East will be the region. I'll use the same app service plan which I've just created. There is no need of any database because we are just deploying a sample ASP.NET application. We don't need any CI CD pipeline. And for now, we'll enable the public access. No monitoring is needed. This is just a lab and I'll delete everything after this video is completed. So no need of tags here. Review and create. And I'll be back once the web application is ready. It took around a minute or two and now web app is created. Let's go to the resource. And as you can see, and the web app is created now. And it's using the service plan S1 with the default domain as shalenda.azurewebsites.net. So let's open this. And it's just showing the default page. Let's open Visual Studio and create a sample ASP.NET application. Create a new project. It will be ASP.NET Core Web App. Next. Let's name it as Web Application 1 and I'll provide the location where it will be saved. Next. I'll use the .NET 8.0 long term framework. There is no need of HTTPS because in the backend setting, we'll be using protocol HTTP and the traffic between application gateway and the app service will go unsecured. So Visual Studio is creating the project now. So the Visual Studio provides an option where you can locally deploy the application and see how it looks like. So let's deploy the application. And this is a temporary deployment. Once you will close the browser, automatically it will reset and it's using port 5233 on the local host. So let's make some basic changes so that our website looks like a custom website for us. Let's go to pages, 
index.html actually it's index.cshtml make some changes welcome to web app azure service and let's remove this line save let's let's redeploy and check how it looks like now so as you can see it's showing welcome to web app azure service and now i'll publish this sample web application into azure so let's go to publish so there are multiple options you can deploy locally on a web server is server you can save it in a folder you can use the docker but i'll deploy in azure next because we are using azure app service windows i'll select that next now it's looking for the app service plans which are already created. So as you can see, RG backend is the resource group and Shalinder is the web app. So let's finish and deploy. Close this, profile is created and let's deploy. Actually there is a mismatch between the framework which is used in web app and in the Visual Studio. Now Visual Studio is very smart and it will automatically fix everything for you. It has started the deployment of this sample web application into Azure app service. And I'll be back once this is deployed. It took few minutes and now web application is deployed. As you can see, shalender.azurewebsites.net and it's showing the custom web page which we have created. And Visual Studio is also showing us that it's successfully published. So let's cancel this. Now the next step is to create the Azure application gateway and we'll use the web app in the backend pool. So let's go back to portal application gateway create a new one there is a resource group already present rg dev application gateway i'll use this one agw dev 001 the region will be australia east i'll use the version as version 2 and change the instance count to 1 no need of any availability zone and by default HTTP2 is enabled. Let's select the virtual network. And there is a subnet app gateway subnet, which is created specifically for application gateway. The condition for using the subnet for application gateway is that there should not be any resource in that subnet. Let's go to front end, create a new public IP. AGW public IP 01. Go to the backend, create a new backend pool, web app pool. Select the app service. There is a web app named Shalender. Let's select this one, add. Now let's go to the configuration. Now the front end is created, backend pool is ready. Now we have to create the routing rules. Let's name the routing rule as web app rule. Give the priority as 100, listener as web app listener. And instead of using the HTTP protocol, we'll use the HTTPS. In one of the previous video, I have generated certificate for shalinder.online using Let's Encrypt, which is a CA signed certificate. And you can find the link of that video in the description of this video. Shalinder.online is the name of the certificate. It's in downloads and let me provide the password. Now I'll go to the backend targets. There's a backend pool which is created and let's create a new backend setting. Web app setting. And because we have created the web application using protocol HTTP and we haven't provided any certificate. So the connection between Azure application gateway and app service will be using port 80 or protocol HTTP. Add and add. Now we have the whole setup with the front end IP, listener, routing rules and the backend pool. Next review and create and create. Application gateway usually takes around five to 10 minutes. So I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's deployed. Application gateway is deployed now. So let's go to the resource group and go to application gateway. Now, because we'll be using the custom domain shalender.online. So let's copy this public IP of application gateway. 
and go to DNS zone. I have two custom domains with me. One is devsecopstech.online and shalender.online. For this video, I'll be using shalender.online and update the alias record here because I have been using this DNS zone for another videos too. So instead of creating a new one, let's update the existing one. Save. All set. Now let's open shalender.online. But instead of getting the sample web page, we are getting the 502 bad gateway. Now there are certain configuration that has to be done on app service and virtual network so that so that application gateway integrates with Azure app service. Let's go to virtual network. Go to service endpoints. And now we have to create a service endpoint for Microsoft web so that the virtual network can connect to app service using the Microsoft backbone network. Add Microsoft web and application gateway subnet is the subnet where application gateway is deployed. Add and this will create a service endpoint for virtual network. Now let's go to app service. and go to the networking section. Now let's make changes to inbound traffic access restriction. So now we'll add a rule where the subnet where application gateway is deployed will have access to app service. App gateway, allow rule number 100 or you can get, give any number. Select the virtual network and application gateway subnet. Add this rule. And if we'll be using shalender.online to access the sample web application, we don't want it to be published using shalender.azurewebsites.net. So now because of the unmatched rule action, everything which is not in the rule will be denied. And we can't disable the public access. The reason is because if we'll disable this, all the incoming traffic will be blocked apart from private endpoints, but we are not creating private endpoint in this video. So let's go back to application gateway and make the final change. Go to the application gateway and the backend setting. And in the backend setting, we have to override the new host name and we have to pick up the host name from the backend target itself, which will be shalender.azurewebsites.net. Save. And the application gateway changes are saved. And if you'll open shalender.azurewebsites.net, it's forbidden because it's only accessible from application gateway right now. Let's open shalender.online and perfect. It's showing the sample web page which we have deployed on app service. To summarize this video, we have first created an app service plan where we deployed a web app on app service. We used Visual Studio to create a sample ASP.NET application and then deployed it in app service. Later application gateway was deployed where front-end IP configuration, listener, rules and the backend pool and the backend settings were created. Now this is the important part where we made some configuration changes so that the integration between app service and application gateway happens. First we created the service endpoint in the virtual network for Microsoft.web so that the subnets can connect to the past service using the web application. Later the public access of the app service was disabled and the access was provided specifically to the application gateway subnet due to which app service URL, which was shalender.azurewebsites.net was not accessible through internet. And finally, in the backend setting of application gateway, host name of the app service was overridden. And once these changes were done, now using the custom domain shalender.online, the sample web application, which we created in app service is accessible. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.